Hi everyone, thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom. I'm Yoshi from New York Temple. Today's Words of Wisdom is from December 28th, and I quote, You cannot increase the length of a day, but you can improve the quality of it. You cannot increase the length of a day, but you can improve the quality of it. From an unshakable mind. Thank you, Lord. All right, so today's is from uh, one of my favorite Kyoten's uh, master's book, An Unshakable Mind. Uh, he's saying that you cannot increase the length of a day, but you can improve the quality of it. Um, pretty obvious, but if you live your everyday life knowing this principle, your life is going to improve twofold, tenfold, a hundredfold. That I can definitely uh, promise you. So let's look at it uh, little by little. You can increase the, you cannot increase the length of a day. All right. So Master has once taught us that humankinds are equal in two terms. One is we are equal in front of death. Two, we are in equal in front of time. So uh, we're all equal because we're all going to die one day. No one lives. No one is immortal. And then the second is no matter what kind of person you are, you're only given 24 hours a day. In one day, just because you live a heavenly and angelic life doesn't mean that God's going to give you 25 hours. And just because you're living a bad, horrible, devilish life, that doesn't mean he's going to take away an hour out of your one day. So we are equally given 24 hours. And depending on how we use each in every single hour that's given to us every day, our life will change according to it. Some people use those 24 hours a day to become the president of the United States of America. Some people use those 24 hours a day to become an artist, to become a politician, to become a professor, to become a man of religion, um, to become a successful business person. Or uh, they can use that 24 hours, or not use it, but waste those 24 hours and not improve their life at all and even end up causing harm to other people. So 24 hours is given to us equally. This is a very important uh, life view that we have in happy science. Um, there is this beautiful prayer, uh, a prayer that we do in the morning. And Master, Master wrote that prayer, right? And he said that uh, every morning you wake up, think that you're given 24 golden coins. 24 golden coins. So each hour is a coin. And we're using it, we have to use it preciously. Um, time is money. Time is very, very uh, precious. It's one of the most important resources that we have in life and even in companies too. So this is a basic stance we take in time, when we view time. And then he goes on to say that, however, although it's given to us equally, we can surely improve the quality of it. And there's an unlimited amount of uh, ways to improve the qualities of our time. Uh, if you would like to know more, I really, really, really recommend uh, Master's Kilt and Master's book. It's called Think Big. Uh, in it, he talks about uh, fairly easy uh, teachings of enlightenment happy, in happy, that's taught in happy science, but it's got a tremendous effect. It will have a tremendous effect in your daily life. He talks about how to use your time wisely. Uh, if I were to give away a couple of the pointers, one of them is please use small pockets of time or small chunks of time. Even if it's at the level of five minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes. So such as uh, vocabulary building, uh, such as if you're trying to learn something new that you need to read through a textbook, if you read it 15 minutes a day in the morning or at night, that still, if you do it for a week, that's gonna turn into about two hours. And then in one month, that's gonna be turning, that's gonna turn to around eight to 10 hours. And then in a whole year, it's gonna be over 100 hours. So that means that you've studied uh, what, three, four, three to four full days on, on that subject, but just using 15 minutes of your day. That's the power of accumulation. And Master is teaching us, don't ever underestimate the power of using small chunks of time. 
Also, another good thing, another good pointer that Master has given us when using time is living the mechanical life, mechanically, or working mechanically. So give yourself a certain set of time, like a habit. Let's put it this way. Uh, a living a life that with a good habit. So at a certain time, you always wake up, and from a certain time in the morning or at night, you do a certain study or something like that. You gain information. You, intellect, you have time for intellectual input in that certain time of your day. And don't allow anything to take that away. Having a good habit is also a really good way to produce time. And of course, it's a good way to increase the quality of it. Another pointer is whenever you do, uh, when you refine yourself through intellectual input, like studying master's teachings, always have a purpose behind it. So always think about the output. Uh, the reason why I started this uh, today's words of wisdom is actually because of this. Um, you know, as a staff, I study master's teachings um, almost every day. I'm sure probably there's not a single day that I don't study master's teachings, but um, I don't do it just for myself getting smarter or so that I can, you know, it's not just for my selfish uh, uh, desires or selfish goal, but it's so that I can, uh, you know, spread how wonderful these teachings are. And the more you, how should I say this, have a goal of an intellectual output, such as like this, talking about master's teachings, it really refines your ability of learning more in this certain set of time of your studying. Uh, even if you study 60 minutes, depending on how focused you are, or how driven you are, uh, that 60 minutes can produce different results. But if you're focused on an intellectual output, the quality of your intellectual input will also increase, is what I wanted to uh, say. Anyhow, uh, let me close off today's words of wisdom by quoting it. You cannot increase the length of a day, but you can improve the quality of it from an unshakable mind. Thank you, Lord. And thank everyone for listening in. See you tomorrow.